Hi, it's Stefan from the Retable team. In this video, we'll show you how to start building your Retable organization. Let's start. After logging into your Retable account, go to your account setting and click the Organization tab. After clicking on your Organization tab, you will see four sections in the left menu. Members, Teams, Brand, and Settings. Now we will check all these sections. Let's start with the Settings section. From this section, you can add your organization's name and description. This is completely optional. Now let's take a look at the members section. The members section is the section where you can invite your teammates to your organization. Before you share your projects with your teammates or add them to teams, you should invite them to your organization. When you write their email address here and send an invitation, we will send them an invitation email. Once they accept the invitation email, they will be able to join your organization. Remember that a user can only belong to one organization. This means that if the people you are inviting are already in a Retable organization, you cannot add them to your organization. By clicking the Invited Members tab, you can easily see the users you have invited to your organization and those who have not yet accepted your invitation. You can also withdraw your invitation. Now, let's check the Teams section. The Teams section is where you can manage your teams. From here you can create teams and manage your team members. Let's create two teams together and add people in our organization to these teams. You can create unlimited teams. Also, a user can join more than one team. See how I add people from my organization to teams. You do not have to invite by email addresses one by one, because you have already invited these people to your organization. You can remove these people from your organization later if you wish. Now, here is the best part. Branding. This is the section where you can make all the branding settings of your organization. From the branding section, you can give your organization a name, add two different sizes of logos, and choose your main and secondary colors. Let's create a branding example together. A preview of your logo and colors will be shown to you in this area. Don't forget to save it when you're done with all your branding settings. If you don't like it, you can quickly reset all of them. All the branding settings you've made are applied to your projects and online forms. Okay, we're done. Let's go to our dashboard and create a workspace. While you're creating your workspace, you should write a name for your workspace. Don't forget, if you want to invite your teams and see this workspace with your own branding, you should select the For Use and Organization option. Well, after that you should create a project directly under your first workspace. Let's give a name for your project and click Start from Scratch. Yes, we're done. Now let's go back to our dashboard and invite our team to our workspace. To invite your teams to your workspace, click the three dots next to your workspace and select Invite Collaborators. You can share your workspace with your team by typing the at sign in your team's name. You can share a workspace with multiple teams. Remember that if you invite your team to your workspace, all members of the team will have access to all projects under your workspace. When inviting your teams, you can also manage their roles. If you want, you can edit these settings later. You can change your team's permissions or remove sharing. Now let's create a new project and share it with individual accounts, not teams. If you don't invite a user to your workspace and only invite them to a specific project, that user won't be able to see your entire workspace, only the project you've invited them to. Likewise, you can specify the role of this user while inviting. Guys, it was the simplest step of setting up your Retable organization. Hope it helps. 
Feel free to ask us any questions. See you then.